Good morning, everybody. We're just out here enjoying the beautiful morning. Astrid has become very curious about the two boys. <laughs> Basically, she's walking around trying to smell them and kind of whining at them. And she says, I don't know who those kids are. <laughs> There's Wiz. Luckily, these boys have had so many fosters. They're so cool. They're just, they're non-reactive, just period, to any dogs. Um, unlike Brielle, who hasn't quite figured out her dog's social skills yet, I have to keep an eye on her because she thinks she's a 50-pound dog, but she's 10 pounds, so, and she acts like a brat. But Rebel just went right up there, laid down on the bed like, okay, we're good. <laughs> so, Brielle is going to have to watch herself. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. The boys are good. <laughs> Brielle be the death of me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope y'all had a, a beautiful... Sunday today. What is today? Today's Sunday. So have a beautiful Sunday today. And she had her meds, but she's gotten where she can pick them out of everything. So I had to cut the doxycycline up into four pieces. I put it in fresh pet and she still picked it out. So then I have to always turn to the backup, which is rotisserie chicken put a little piece in there and a big piece of chicken and that worked. So, <sighs> you think big dogs are just going to eat everything? No. They pick it out. I had three chihuahuas that never even just picked, just ate, never picked anything out, never acted like, tasted different. So, you never know. <laughs> so as I'm trucking back and forth from the kitchen to try things, I said, there's always just got to be that one. Every other foster that won't take the pills. <laughs> so I finally got him down. Her <laughs> jeez. I think she was getting full in the end. <laughs> she, she wasn't that excited when I came in with the food. <laughs> She's probably thinking, oh my God. So anyway, all, all the babies are doing good. Everybody's happy. Um, we'll be going down to the border of Mexico next weekend. <sighs> and we're going to start this all over again. Yes. Uh, we've already got quite a few commitments to people there. Uh, a lot of private rescuers that pick up dogs off the street, et cetera, et cetera, that need help. There's, there's nobody down there to adopt them. Um, they're just really very, very few. Oh, they'll adopt a little poodle or shih tzu. But the rest of them, you are not going to adopt them out to anybody. Um, why? When I mean, they can drive down the street and pick up their dog and not vaccinate it and not take it to the vet and not spay and neuter it. And then that's how this just continues. So we need to get them out from the border of Mexico. We need to get them really just out of there. And so a lot of people will pick up dogs. They'll take care of them. They think they're going to get adopted. Um... And it just doesn't happen. They end up with them for months. Good dogs. So we do help a lot of those people out. Um, because if you don't, the Good Samaritans are going to stop picking up the dogs. They can't have 20 dogs at their house. So we try to help them every month as much as we can to take some of their dogs. Because if we don't, we're going to end up with a hoarding situation. Uh, and people will stop helping them. They can't, there's no place for them to go. It's not like they can pick them up and take them to a shelter. There's no shelters. There's, and the ones they have are, are terrible. So anyway, so that's my big speech today. Just wanted to let y'all see Astrid and <coughs> Brielle. See, this is what's not going to happen. <coughs> Brielle, Stop. <laughs> Oh, my God. She's going to be the... You behave yourself. She weighs 40, 50 pounds. You stop it. Quit acting like an idiot. <laughs> Astro was like, what the hell is... I was going to say something bad. What the hell is that? 
Uh, there we go. <laughs> Which is why I tell y'all, this is a very specific case. She really needed out of the rescue. We don't want her immune system that's already compromised to catch anything from these dogs. But this is why I normally don't take a lot of big dogs. Um, because all it takes is one little trigger and it, it, it very well, Brielle could lose the fight. So I am never, um, leave her out here alone. I'm never away from them until she said, I'm going to come over there, <laughs> over here by mom. So far, she's been really good. Brielle did run in there and try to get one of her bones and she did come out of her kennel and growl at her. So, you know, this is, this is when you get in those situations where you really have to watch the body language and the dogs and yeah. I put just put a lot of teramycin in her eyes. Ah, oh, they're so bad. She hates me messing with them too. Okay, kids, we're gonna go in. Y'all wanna go in? Ugh. And I close the door. They cannot go in that room. So she'll wag her tail at the boys. Brielle just acts like a crazy person. <laughs> she said I'm a little scared of Brielle. <laughs> Sending love and hugs, y'all. Say bye.